everyone, welcome back to Anna Elaine. So today I'm bringing you this tutorial using my Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay and of course this beautiful bright purple lip colour. I wanted to create something that was quite glamorous but still really good for kind of everyday wear. And this is actually in collaboration with my beautiful friend Emily from Emily Grace. She's done this gorgeous purple eye in contrast to my purple lips. And it's got this gorgeous kind of like double wing effect on the sides. And I just think it's so creative and beautiful. You can check out her video. It's linked below. Now I'm starting out with my foundation. I'm using Max Studio Fix Fluid in NW10. And this is actually a foundation that both me, Emily, me and Emily both use. Um, because we're both really pale. And it's kind of how we like connected as friends over YouTube. Now for concealer, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly. This is like holy grail concealer, it's really full coverage, it's quite a light texture so it's good for under the eye but you can also use it on spots. And I'm just setting all of this along with the foundation using my uh, Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder. So this is just a really finely milled powder. Now for a bit of contouring, I'm going in with my Bobbi Brown Eyeshadow in Blonde. This is a really cool toned kind of taupey colour. Um, I just find it really works well for just creating the actual shadow so under my cheekbones and then a little bit on my temples as well which helps to bring like my cheek cheekbone a little bit more present and then I warm up the perimeter of my face and kind of shadow the outsides using a bronzer and I'm using Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil which is kind of a it's like the lighter version of the very famous um, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer it's very warm toned so it gives you this really beautiful kind of summery glow um, but it is matte as well, so it doesn't have any shimmer, which is nice. It makes it look really natural and is good for every day. Now for blush, I'm actually using the middle shade from the uh, Hourglass Blush Palette. I don't have the name on me right here, but I'll put it in the down bar. Um, and I'm just applying quite this quite generously because I'm going to buff everything out with a finishing powder. Now for highlight, I'm using MAC... Um, Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapay, which is a really white based highlighter. So this is really, really um, perfect for really pale translucent skin tones like my own. And then I'm going to buff my whole skin to give it a really airbrushed look using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. And this is my favorite finishing powder. It just gives the most gorgeous glow, um, but it doesn't look too shimmery or anything. Now filling in my eyebrows, I'm just using my trusty e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in Dark. I use this with a fairly light hand. I even though it's a really really dark colour and the, the lengths of my hair are blonde because I've got an ombre um, I like to match my brows to my roots so that's why I use a dark colour so for the eyes we're going to start out with the colour Foxy from the Naked 2 palette and this is just a matte cream eyeshadow and just placing this all over the lid and then with a really really fluffy kind of blending brush and you want to use the colour Tease from the Naked 2 palette this is a very cool toned medium kind of brown like that perfect sort of transition colour and just really blend this into the crease you also want to put a little bit of this colour under your lower lash line and really kind of smoke it out don't be too timid you can bring it quite far down because um, this just gives your eye, it balances out the eye a little more and makes it look a little bit more sultry. Then you want to take a shimmery colour for the lid. I'm using the colour uh, Verve, which is like a kind of shimmery taupe colour with, it's sort of got a silvery base, but it's like a warm silver. Um, and then I'm just placing this with a flat shader brush all over the lid. And then you go back with that sort of medium brown colour and your fluffy brush just to blend everything out and make it look really seamless. Now you want to take the colour Busted which is a shimmery kind of dark brown colour and just use that same fluffy brush and you want to place your brush on the very outer third of your eye um, on the lid and it kind of do little circular motions to blend this colour in. It creates this beautiful diffused um, blended effect but it really adds depth and dimension to the shape of your eye. You also want to run a little bit of that colour on the outer third of your lower lash line as well with a pencil brush. Now I'm going to highlight and I'm using the highlight shade from the Naked 2 palette which is called Booty Call. I'm popping that under my brow bone and of course on the inner corners as well. Now I'm just popping a little bit of coloured brow gel through my brows. This is the Australis one and then I'm going to rim my lower lash line as well or my waterline with the Chi Chi Eye Brightener. 
Now I'm just going to pop on just a basic black winged liner as well. The liner I'm using today is my Stila Stay All Day Liner in Black and this is my favourite one because it's that typical kind of pen style eyeliner that's really easy to use although I do have to get really close to the mirror. So sorry it gets a little bit out of focus. Now I'm going to pop on some mascara to prep my lashes for falsies and I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Mascara in Black. This is a really amazing mascara, I talked about it on my latest favourites video, it's like really 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 volumizing, but it still adds lots of length and definition as well. It's not too clumping but just like kind of clumpy enough to really thicken up the lashes. So I'm only putting this on my top lashes because on my bottom lashes I'm using my Maybelline um, Great Lash Mascara which is just the basic Great Lash in the colour black. I love this for lower lash line because it's really not clumping, like it's really unvolumizing, so it just defines them. Now for lashes, today I'm using the EXO Beauty lashes in the style The Aries. And these are like a really beautiful kind of wispy natural lash that's got a lot of flair on the outer corner. So it looks really perfect with a winged liner. Um, it just kind of accentuates the shape of your eye. Now what you want to do once the glue has all set is go in with a matte black eyeshadow. I'm just using the one from the Naked 2 palette and a small brush and you just want to um, go over the glue marks on the lash band because this will help disguise them. Now I'm just running a bit of that colour Verve um, under the iris of my eyes as well because this can help to really make your eyes look nice and sparkly. It just kind of brings out the colour of your eye putting a shimmery shadow right underneath your eye. And now for, of course, the feature of the look, I'm using this amazing purple lip colour. Um, it's called Tokyo and it's by Australis Cosmetics here in Australia. You can only get it in Australia and New Zealand, unfortunately, but I'm sure there is another lipstick on the market that's this bright. I just love this formula because it's that sort of liquid lip colour, so it doesn't move all day. It stays all day through eating and everything. It's really, really amazing. And this is the finished look here. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Um, as you can see, I think the purple lips definitely obviously are the, like the main feature of this look, but I love how I've paired it with like a really neutral eye and therefore it just keeps the attention on the lips, but the eyes still look really glamorous. Don't forget to check out Emily's video as well. It's linked down um, in the down bar as well as her channel. She's got such a great channel. Um, she's just so lovely and bubbly. So definitely check her out and show her some love from me. It's all in the down bar. Don't forget to give this video a like and I'll see you all next time. Bye.